Samsara Training, Driver App, ELD Training. Agenda. Driver App Download, Signing In, Vehicle Selection, Messages, Settings, Documents, Team Driver, DVIR, Hours of Service Drivers, DOT Inspection Requirements, and Hours of Service Fleet Managers. Plug and Play Hardware installs in minutes. First, connect Gateway to Diagnostics port with a Y-splitting cable. Second, install dash cams, accessory sensors. Third, download driver app for iOS or Android. Where can I get the app? The driver app can be found by searching Sam Sarah Driver on either the App Store or Google Play Store. Signing in. Signing in. First, open the Samsara driver app on your tablet. Second, sign in by entering the following, your fleet ID, and then your username and password. All driver accounts are set up by an administrator with access to the Samsara dashboard. The first time the driver app is accessed, you may be required to log in twice. The app is acquiring the most up-to-date version. Vehicle selection. Review and certify or skip certifying logs upon sign-in. Select the vehicle that you will be driving by using the search bar. Drivers can see all the vehicles in your organization. Use the search for vehicles to find the vehicle you want to select. A confirmation screen will prompt to the driver to confirm the selected vehicle. Vehicle selection, mutual exclusion. When a driver selects a vehicle that a different driver is already signed into, they will be prompted with a notification stating another driver is currently using vehicle X. If the driver continues with the vehicle selection, the other driver who was originally signed into the vehicle will then be notified stating you have been removed from the vehicle. Picking a trailer. Select vehicle, select trailer, and search for trailer number. Confirm the trailer selection. Adding a trailer. If the trailer is not on the list, type the trailer number in the search bar. Select Add to Trailer List. Confirm your trailer selection by viewing the trailer number in the home screen. Changing trailer selection. Select vehicle to change trailers throughout your trip. Checkmark indicates trailer 7106 is currently selected. Click the trailer with the check mark to deselect the trailer. Drop and pick a trailer. Search for trailer 7344 using the search bar. Confirm new trailer selection on the home page. Here's the driver app home page. From here, you're able to send messages to dispatch. Hours of service can be disabled for electronic logging devices, exempt drivers. Submit proof of delivery and other document types. Change vehicle for this driver. Settings information such as language preferences and app versions. Driver vehicle inspection report or DVIR. Routes provides a list of your routes and route stop locations for the day. Use driving team when having coworkers. And to sign out when you finish your shift. Messages. Drivers can message with dispatchers or admins through the Samsara driver app. The Messages button is disabled when the vehicle is in motion to ensure driver safety. The driver receives push notifications even if the driver app is not open. Here's a look at the driver app settings. From here you can select the language, provide feedback, and also search for help. Here's a look at the documents. From here you can create new documents such as accident, Bill of Lading, Citation, Fuel Receipt, Proof of Delivery, and Scale Tickets. Team Driver Team Driver Workflow Sam Sarah Driver Apps Team Driver allows multiple drivers to manage their hours of service from one vehicle and one device. Process Flow Driver 1 logs into the Sam Sarah Driver App. Driver 1 selects Driving Team. 
Driver 2 logs in from the Add User to Driving Team. View app on Driver's account. Set vehicle as driver. Signing out of the app will remove both drivers from the app and place them off duty. Open Team Driver. Driver 1 logs on to the Samsara Driver app. Driver 1 is listed as the user. Driver 1 selects Driving Team. Second driver signs in. Driver 2 selects Add User to Driving Team and logs into the same mobile device. Additional drivers can log in after Driver 2. Changing Driver Assignment Two drivers are now sent into the same vehicle. Driver 2 selects Set Vehicle as Driver and they both become the primary driver for the vehicle. After the selection, you can see that Driver 2 is the current vehicle driver. All engine runtime will then be assigned to the current vehicle driver's logs. Viewing Driver 2's Account Driver 2 selects View App on Driver's Account, and both drivers can now manage their account from the Samsara Driver app. The user is now shown to be Driver 2. Setting the current driver and changing which account is being viewed can be changed at any time throughout their trip. Signing out. When driver 1 or driver 2 signs out, the entire team is signed out. Sign out puts both drivers off duty. Samsara Driver Vehicle Inspection Reports or DVIRs. DVIR Workflow. Samsara Electronic DVIRs help drivers efficiently complete inspections and share reports directly with mechanics. Process Flow. Driver 1 performs pre and post trip inspection. All DVIRs are synced to the maintenance dashboard. Unsafe vehicles are taken out of service and addressed by a mechanic. The mechanic documents and approves the fix. Driver 2 reviews and approves the fix and certifies the vehicle as safe to drive. DVIR workflow defect identified requires attention. Samsara Electronic DVIRs help drivers efficiently complete inspections, and share reports directly with mechanics. The following workflow shows the process of a DVIR if the driver identifies a defect that requires attention. Driver completes pre-trip, post-trip inspection in Driver app. Driver identifies defects, certifies, vehicle needs attention. Vehicle defect is resolved by maintenance. Mechanic documents, maintenance fix, and certifies vehicle is safe to drive in the Samsara dashboard. Driver completes pre or post trip inspection in Driver app. Driver certifies defect as corrected and marks vehicle as safe to drive in the Driver app. Entering a new DVIR. Driver selects the DVIR icon when entering a new vehicle for the first time that day. Past reports are shown at the top of the DVIR page. Complete a new DVIR by selecting Add Report. Pre-trip inspection with defect. Driver selects pre-trip and performs walk-around. The driver can add or remove vehicle defects by opening the vehicle defect page. Check off any items where the defect is identified. Include comments for any defects that are found. Add pictures as needed. Select Done. Once all defects have been identified, and select Next. Certify vehicle needs attention. Driver specifies vehicle is unsafe for the headlight that was out. Select Certify and Save. Confirm your selection by selecting Certify and Save. Certifying a DVIR adds driver signature to the DVIR. Samsara Dashboard Maintenance. The completed DVIR automatically syncs to the maintenance page of the Samsara dashboard. Maintenance. Documenting a fix as resolved. The unsafe DVIR is logged in in the dashboard and the mechanic can view and correct the issue. Once the defects have been resolved, the mechanic will document the fix by selecting Add a DVIR entry. The mechanic selects the correct vehicle to add the DVIR entry to. Documents what the work was that was done, marks the vehicle as safe to drive, and previous defects as corrected. 
once the defects have been resolved. SEMSERA Dashboard Maintenance After the mechanic documents and certifies that the defect is resolved, the status will change from unsafe to resolved. The vehicle will need to be certified by the driver at the next pre- or post-trip inspection. DBIR Workflow Defect identified requires attention. The following workflow shows the process of a DVIR if the driver identifies the defect that requires attention. Driver completes pre- and post-trip inspection in Driver app. Driver identifies defects, certifies vehicle needs attention. Vehicle defect is resolved by maintenance. Mechanic documents maintenance fix and certifies vehicle is safe to drive in the SEMSERA dashboard. Driver completes pre- post-trip inspection in the Driver app. Driver certifies defect as corrected and marks vehicle as safe to drive in the driver app. Driver approval of maintenance fix. Driver completes a DVIR for the same vehicle. Select the mechanic entry, view notes on the mechanic's DVIR entry. The driver will then select add report to complete post-trip DVIR and he will need to certify the defect was corrected. Mechanic entry will also show in the recent DVIR reports. You can click into this entry to see details about what was done to address the defect. Add a new report to complete a post-trip inspection. Post-trip inspection. Select post-trip, take a walk around photos, and check off any identified defects. Select add or remove vehicle defects. Select done after confirming no additional defects are found, then select next. Similar process as before, except now we are selecting post-trip inspection. Review the defects and ensure no new defects and the original defect was corrected. Driver certification. After completing the post-trip inspection, driver selects the vehicle is safe to drive. Driver is reminded that there were previous defects found on the vehicle and selects previous defects are corrected. Then select Certify and Save and confirm the selection. Maintenance Dashboard Defect Resolved In the dashboard, you can see the resolved initial defect and the subsequent safe inspections conducted by the mechanic and driver. Maintenance Dashboard Review of Resolved Defects By selecting the resolved issue, you can see the impacted vehicle, the nature of the defect, and who made the various certifications and when. Managing hours of service for drivers. What do drivers need to know? Managing driver time, managing alerts, editing my logs, certifying logs, approval of carrier edits, inspection requirements, and signing out. Managing hours of service. Click OHS to manage your logs. Change duty status manually. Understanding hours remaining. Break. Counts down the time until a break must be taken. Shift. Counts down total available shift time. Drive. Counts down the remaining driver time left in your shift. And cycle. Counts down the total available cycle time. Everything a driver needs for an inspection is behind the DOT inspection button. View pass logs, red pencil uncertified, and green check is certified. Hours of service settings. Drivers can view settings such as time zone, cycle, restart, and rest break requirements via the settings button in the HOS homepage. Set duty status. Tap the current status bar. Select desired status, add a remark and location, and save. Change status during the day. Begin driving. When your vehicle moves, your status will change to driving. Making stops. When you stop driving and five minutes have passed, a prompt will ask you for your current duty status. Default status is on duty. Taking breaks. When taking a break, Switch your status to off-duty. Return to on-duty when your break is over. Automatic driving status. 
The ELD mandate requires that when a vehicle goes above 5 miles per hour, the vehicle be automatically put into driving. This means it is especially important that drivers are assigned to the correct vehicle and sign out before another driver moves into that vehicle. When the vehicle stops and 5 minutes have passed, drivers will be asked if they are still driving. If they ignore this, they are automatically put on duty. Alerts. When any one of the hours remaining circles gets within 30 minutes of zero, it will turn yellow and alert the driver. When zero is reached, the ring will turn red. Below is some alert examples. Driver edit of logs. Drivers can edit any uncertified logs. Drive time can be changed to yard, move, or personal conveyance for driver if enabled, but never erased. Drivers can edit all other duty statuses. Per the ELD mandate, a remark is required to edit a log. Driver edit of logs continued. Tap the log graph to edit or tap a specific status segment for easy edits. Select the time to edit and the correct status. Tip, all driver edits require a mark before saving. Certifying driver logs. Drivers should certify all past 24 hour periods. Certifying logs puts a signature below the log in the log and DOT inspection page. Tap the log icon, certify and submit, and agree and submit. Adding remarks to logs. Select remark, slide the indicator to the time you'd like to add the remark, and save. Add multiple remarks by selecting add remark for each. Remove a remark by selecting the remark and select the delete icon. Claiming unassigned hours of service in the driver app. Click settings in the hours of service homepage. Click Claim Unassigned Driving Time. Select the unassigned driving time you want to claim and then click Claim. Click Certify to save. Approval of Carrier Edits. All carrier edits must be approved by the driver. Drivers will be prompted to approve carrier edits in the driver app. Managers and supervisors should agree on an edit before it is posted to a driver review. Managers are not alerted when a driver approves or rejects a proposed edit. Inspection requirements. ELD required in-cab materials. Driver app user manual, DOT inspection sheet, paper logs for eight days. Drivers share their logs from the DOT inspection icon. There are two options for sending your data file, email or wireless web services. Both options go to DOT's centralized ERODS system. Additional information, diagnostic and malfunction alerts. In the event of a diagnostic or ELD compliance malfunction, a red D or M will appear in the HOS page. Click on the D or M for details. Please alert your fleet manager if necessary. SAMHSA support is available to remedy all diagnostic and malfunction issues. Signing out. Remember to sign out of the app when you are done with your shift in vehicle. This is very important to ensure that you are no longer associated with the vehicle and any movement the vehicle will not be attributed to you. Select review and certify or sign out anyway for certifying logs upon sign out. Managing hours of service for admins. What do hours of service managers need to know? All management work happens from the SEMSERA dashboard. Driver hours of service, manage hours and make edits. Unassigned hours of service, reassign unassigned drive time. Search and reporting of violations. Editing logs, wrong vehicle, Carrier edits require driver approval. Driver hours of service report or summary. Go to Fleet, Reports, 
Driver Hours of Service shows summary of drivers. Same cycle times presented to the driver are presented to the manager. All the standard duty statuses are present including disconnected, which tells you that the app is either closed or the mobile device is out of service. Reports. Driver Hours of Service Expanded View. All the standard duty statuses are present. Disconnected status indicates the driver app is either closed or the mobile device is in an area of poor cellular coverage. Reports. Driver Hours of Service Expanded View. Managers can only edit certified logs. Only managers can edit vehicle selection. Managers are able to edit duty status and vehicle selection from this page. As we saw in the driver selection of the presentation, all edits must be approved by the driver. Reports. Hours of service violations. Search and report on violations for all drivers from hours of service violations. Admins can also get a list of drivers with missing log certifications. This report can be scheduled daily and or weekly. Reports, unassigned hours. You can find this by going to Fleet, Reports, Unassigned Hours of Service. Unassigned hours of service are created when a vehicle is moved without a driver assigned. Unassigned hours must be assigned so that no more than 30 minutes exist on a vehicle over 24 hour period. Newly assigned drive time will appear as a carrier edit in the driver app and must be approved by the driver. Additional information, internet connectivity. When connected, the driver app communicates duty status to dispatchers and fleet managers. Sign in and out in places with connectivity. Keep the Samsara driver app visible on the screen so it stays connected. If you lose internet coverage, your activity gets saved and will be updated when you connect again. You can set status and edit your logs manually if needed. Closing. The knowledge base can be located at kb.samsara.com. Samsara documents can be found at www.samsara.com forward slash docs. And the technical support team. You can email support at samsara.com or call the hotline 415-329 6900, Monday through Friday, 24 hours, Saturday, Sunday, 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. You can live chat Monday to Friday, 6 a.m. to 6 p.m. Pacific Standard Time.